دكتورة سمية أهلا دكتور شلونك؟ الحمد لله All right. طبعا دكتورة سمية يوسف will present us her her presentation which is about feasibility of anaerobic digestion uh, as an option for biodegradable waste management in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, let me introduce you, Doctora. Uh, Doctora is uh, Assistant Professor of Environmental Engineering in the College of Graduate Studies, which is uh, part of the Department of Natural Resource and Environment uh, in AGU. She has PhD uh, and MPhil in engineering, specializing in, in environmental engineering and sustainability from University of Warwick, UK. She also got uh, her master in environmental management from AGU, and, and she has also diploma and BSc in biology from University of Bahrain. She is a winner of Venice International Women Award in 2021, which is for Outstanding Woman Achiever in Environmental Engineering and uh, Sustainability. And besides, she got also other uh, prizes. Uh, I think she is classified as one of the top three most influential women in science and technology in 2020 in the Arab world by Women's News Agency. So, the Dr. the floor is for you to present. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Majid. And uh, I'd like to welcome all of the attendance, attendees. And um, um, it is, I know that it is very late uh, presentation and <laughs> but, uh, what to do. So, I'd like to share my presentation now with you. So, is it uh, appears? On your monitor. Can you see it, please? Yeah, we see um, it, but maybe you have to make it okay. full screen. Okay. okay. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, I'd like to start my presentation uh, actually with, with uh, mentioning the, the drivers of having this uh, topic for study. Uh, actually, Bahrain, maybe I, I observed from today and yesterday's presentations that there were no uh, presentations that talked about um, waste to energy, actually, especially that um, maybe waste to energy is an, a main target and objective for the Sustainable Energy Authority. So um, I'd like to cover parts of um, waste to energy today uh, through having um, a study about feasibility of anaerobic digestion as an option for biodegradable waste management and biofuel production in the Kingdom of Bahrain. So um, actually, I'll, today I have a prepared another part about incineration as, a, as an option through my an interview for the media. And um, actually, I have some interesting results and I would like to share them with you today through this presentation as a, another alternative and technology to be uh, considered for Bahraini community for waste to energy, which is uh, direct incineration. Uh, but we will focus more on uh, an Arab digestion for biofuel production. Uh, as we said that the increase in economic and developmental activities leads to increase in uh, the waste generation in the country. And uh, actually, the main drivers of concentration on the, the waste uh, as a, a source of energy or renewable resource of energy is the, the high generation rate, actually, of, uh, uh, of generation per capita, per capita generation uh, rate uh, of waste in, for Bahrain. And uh, even in the region, uh, Bahrain has the highest top uh, rate of, of uh, um, municipal solid waste generation, and it, it was recently classified in the UNEP uh, Food uh, Waste Index for 2021 as at the top in West Asia and Australia, North and South Africa, and uh, even Europe, and fourth globally, imagine. It, is, it was very shocked the news, and it needs just um, very urgent movement, actually. Uh, as we know that Bahrain even, uh, 
produces a high percentage of biodegradable waste. And uh, actually, actually uh, another driver is that the, the per capita waste generation behind is, is a three, uh, 3.8, sorry, 3.8 kilogram, 3.8 uh, kilogram per, uh, per day, which is the one of the highest um, globally. Even the, even the, the highest, I, I, as we said, the Sustainable Energy Authority has a main objective to have to consider the waste to energy as a, as, a, as a main target. Even the transformation to circular economy as a trend, as, as a future trend to invest in it and uh, towards achieving or achievement of uh, sustainable development goals. Uh, represented by sustainable development goal number 12, which is the, the uh, responsible uh, production and uh, consumption. Um, let's move forward. Uh, so Bahrain, we know that uh, Bahrain population is uh, 1 million achieved recently, 1.7 million actually, and of the area of 760 kilometers square, which is uh, so, so we have a high population density and we have just one landfill which already reached it, its um, uh, capacity on maybe three or four years ago. And uh, its area is a three kilometers square representing 0.4% of Bahrain area. And there is, I, I don't think that uh, extension of this landfill is a um, um, sustainable solution. So it is very necessary to find an alternative to manage waste, especially having the aim of uh, having waste to energy as a as a, a target of sustainable energy, renewable energy, and at the same time, it's a sustainable waste management solution. Um, currently, I, I have prepared this figure uh, based on the data collected from the Ministry of Municipalities and Urban Planning. Um, we can observe the, the decline in, in, uh, in waste generation in 2020, maybe due to the pandemic. Um, this is the generation of the total municipal solid waste in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Um, even this uh, figure shows that the total monthly municipal solid waste during the pandemic, which is 2020, in the, in the whole month of until February uh, 21, last month so we have uh, we can observe that maybe we have some decline here in the middle in the 2020 then we we uh, return back to uh, the high level um, so here the, the, the composition of municipal solid waste uh, in the three years here I have compared them based on the year and we can see the total amount of these components of municipal solid waste in 2020 that reached 1,300,000 1, uh, compared to 2,400,000 uh, or 2.5 million tons uh, in 2018. This one is, we can observe uh, here that the construction and demolition waste uh, was recently um, recycled and reused for reclamation of the coastal areas in Bahrain for land expansion. Um, about actually about seventy percent now uh, of construction and demol demolition waste, which represents the the highest uh, composition uh, percentage of municipal solid waste, was recycled. So, which is good. That is the justifying the, the decline of the amount going to landfill. Um, here, another figure shows that the, the, the household waste, actually, the household waste in Bahrain, uh, which, which is about 600,000 uh, ton per year, which is a high percentage, actually, uh, of the total waste going to the landfill. So uh, this, uh, this waste has many opportunities to be uh, managed sustainably and uh, I have collected all the percentages of the biodegradable portion of each sector in Bahrain and I, I collected them in this table and we have the, the amount in 2019 
Tom Perrier. So we can see the biodegradable, the highest portion is from the domestic waste, uh, biodegradable waste. And then the total garden waste. By the way, uh, now, uh, based on the recent report of the UNEP, uh, now it reaches 230 exactly. So uh, we have higher now portion of biodegradable. I, I, I mean the food waste only. The food is 230,000 tons, just the food. Uh, the total garden waste and uh, dead animals, the commercial biodegradable waste and the industrial biodegradable waste, and even the wastewater treatment plant, the sludge was considered as uh, biodegradable as well in this amount. And um, it was considered in this amount. So we have annually, Bahrain uh, produces about five, uh, 500,000 lift a uh, ton per year. So um, here uh, we have mentioned this amount. So yeah, uh, while total domestic waste in 2020 is this amount, as we mentioned, as biodegradable portion, food waste represents 41% of domestic waste in 2020. Imagine 41% of domestic waste uh, by degradable portion is uh, 20, uh, in 2020 is um, is food food waste again, again which is which is uh, not not good indicator to for food uh, you know food loss and food waste and uh, food security in general. Um, so um, in this study, I have studied the feasibility, economic feasibility through the cost benefit analysis for an anaerobic digestion technology to, to uh, recover energy as a biofuel from the biodegradable portion in, uh, of, of Bahrain waste. So uh, this portion, uh, I used some estimation here. So uh, uh, considering uh, 450 cubic meter per ton by double waste of of uh, biogas. So we can um, we can produce by by converting the kilowatt hour also and uh, calculating the total energy output from this amount uh, using the equations and uh, estimation. So we can get 213.3 gigawatt hour per year actually from just biodegradable waste uh, uh, or biogas production. Uh, so um, here we have some details about that cost benefit analysis considering um, 18 so, so we have uh, five minutes. Huh? Five okay. minutes. So we can see that it is, uh, it is just feasible okay, economically and it is actually feasible uh, environmentally and uh, we can see that this project will uh, will uh, make revenues in Bahraini dinar 1.6 million for the EWA, for EWA and um, save 4.5 million from waste dumping budget as well um, we have a, another environmental benefit and reduction of the greenhouse gas representing by methane uh, the landfill gas, so we can um, save this much, about more than 500,000 uh, equivalent, 1,000 equivalent CO2 equivalent. Therefore, the AD project contribute to greenhouse gas emission reduction. So, um, in my study, actually, I have studied an urban digestion technology from three criteria: technically, economically, and uh, socially. In my previous study, I have studied all of these technologies and have, have compared with, between them and explored the enablers and barriers to their adop adoption at Bahraini uh, society, actually. And I found that the main barriers against their adoption were uh, social, political, economic, technical, managerial, and environmental. We have to mention that in, in, in order to succeed or enable um, an Arabic digestion technology in Bahrain, we have to have a policy, which is the segregation at source. We have to have a, um, a supportive strategy, a national strategy that sets some legislations and regulations required to succeed uh, 
the sustainable management of waste, of waste and produce the, the, this energy. And we have to have centralization even of, of uh, waste management sector in, con in contribution with the, the Sustainable Energy Authority as well to work together towards the achievement of the, the, the target of having waste to energy, producing waste to energy in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Um, I was talking at the beginning of my presentation about incineration, so I have some interesting results here. Uh, we have about 500,000 tons annu annually of combustible waste in Bahrain. Uh, I have measured them empirically. Um, uh, I found that each kilogram of our municipal solid waste has a calorific value of 18.5 megajoules per kilogram, which is very high. Uh, and estimated to, so I have used this number that I have found in the lab and estimate uh, that the total power that we can generate from incineration as a, as a, uh, as a technology for waste to energy in Bahrain, uh, considering 40% efficiency, I, I found that it can produce 3,700 gigawatt hour per year, which is very good and which is equal about 20% of total annual power generation in the, in the Kingdom of Bahrain from waste, which meets the target of the uh, Sustainable Energy Authority of Waste to Energy Objective. So uh, I, I, I just recommend uh, in order to manage waste and uh, to have uh, integrated management of uh, waste beside having renewable resource of energy. We have to have a national strategy that is uh, working in parallel with the Sustainable Energy Authority. And we have collaborations kind of uh, having um, uh, authority, centralization of authority of management and having even some supportive legislation represented by source segregation actors. We have public awareness programs uh, towards preparing the floor for social acceptance. Even um, this, this kind of projects, uh, we, we will have, uh, I, uh, so um, yeah, we will uh, even facilitate uh, converting into circular economy, which is already, uh, will, will, uh, uh, will diversify our economy and contribute and creating jobs for, uh, for uh, unemployed and we will, we will have uh, benefits from all the sustainable sustainability levels, economic, we have benefits on the environmental level and even the social level. So, um, and we will meet even the SDGs and um, represented by each participant. Uh, uh, it was, if, if it is, it was in social pillar or the economic or, or the environmental and even the food security uh, by saving the food waste and converting, even saving food waste or uh, managing, if, if it was produced, managing it by having even uh, sustainable solution to produce even energy from them, from the biodegradable in general. So um, some uh, recommendation, adopt a sustainable national waste management strategy based on the, uh, sorry, based on the integrated solid waste management, uh, centralize the responsibility and SDG 7, affordable clean energy will be realized. SDG 11, sustainable cities, SDG 12, responsible production and consumption, and SDG 13, climate action, and along with SDG 17, which is collaboration for, um, for realizing these objectives and all SDGs in general can be achieved through investing in the circular e economy. So, um, yeah, and, uh, considering the international funding agencies and UN initiatives as well will provide funding for these projects to benefit from these opportunities in Bahrain. And we need also to have establishment of a new branch of economy in Bahrain, in circular economy, as I, I have mentioned, based on the reuse and recycle of products, as well as biorefinery, which is based on the valorization of waste concept and a waste to energy as well. Uh, so we can realize all the, these objectives. And thank you for listening. Thank you, Dr. Rasumaya, for this presentation and your work about this important aspect uh, uh, in Bahrain.
Uh, I think now we are going to have a Q&A session. So for the 